season's greetings and welcome to another episode of Two Balls and a Mic. We are here the weekend after the biggest credentials in Two Balls and a Mic history have occurred. We were at the Mexico Cameroon game. We will take you behind the scenes into what that day was. Both couple of days, Mexico training, Mexico tying Cameroon here at Snapdragon Stadium. Two to two. We met some compas, campos, had some ceviche. It was amazing. We'll get into all of that. Everybody using my question for their purposes. Marca, TV Azteca, utilizing my question to Diego Coca about his selección moving into the Nations League, U.S. versus Mexico. It all comes down to this, I guess. A meaningful, friendly tournament. The Nations League semifinal will happen this Thursday. We're going to go ahead and talk about why Mexico is going to win that, as well as, obviously, San Diego Loyal uh, tying the best team in the league. 1-1 to -one in Sacramento. 0-0 Donitas Donuts uh, were a Duncan a plenty for the San Diego Wave game. Uh, Champions League. Yes. City, we, yeah, vale madre. All right. All right. <laughs> Guess what? The last three names etched in history in the Champions League. Rodri, Vini, Kai Havertz. The only goal scorers in a Champions League final last three Champions League. Mm. I don't I, I did I I didn't hear doth my ears deceive me. I didn't hear a Manchester United player anywhere near that. No, don't no no. Absolutely not. But uh, maybe next season. Uh, but yeah, we got our biggest credentials uh, ever. And you're wearing it right. It's a dope credential. Like, picture and everything. It's sick. The lanyard is The dope. lanyard is cool. Like, okay. Oh, honestly, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear that lanyard for the game on Loyal on Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to keep wearing it today. Actually. <laughs> um, all just right. take that credential to the game. So we talked Thank last you, week kind you of about. And uh, we'll also talk about the MLS. Uh, Events. supporters yeah. e event supporters meeting um and everything that went down there I, incredibly tired should we start I was with that because that was tired. earlier in the week <sighs> oh that was last week but and and look i was asked by other people that were there some people that were like hey like what is this exactly like it sounded like i was one thing uh, when we were told about this once we got mm -hmm. there it's like almost like a surprise is the first official blah 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 blah, blah. um some good points some good 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 brews good people good times up at kilowatt and kearney mesa um somebody asked me like oh like when he like uh, several people asked me asked me like oh are you guys gonna go live are you guys gonna, gonna are you guys gonna talk about this tomorrow like an emergency pod like no no yeah no. um no i don't think it required an emergency pod it itself i agree did not require such such lengths, uh, such a Herculean effort in a in a crazy ass yeah. week for both of us. Last week we were <sighs> also credited of being the most tired we have looked in a while. Monday for yeah, dude, uh, it was a pain day for everybody. Um, I think we're we're. I mean, let's just so you guys right. get a little so, understanding mm -hmm. with our full time jobs that actually like we have. Oh. I think we've been putting in like ten hour shifts, eleven hour shifts. The past week and a half already? Yeah, nobody should have more than a four-hour shift and concentrate. Plus, we do all this coverage. Nobody should have to deal. We're bound to be tired. 360-plus children a Yeah, day. no, it's crazy. I want, I want to see you guys do that. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's insane. And then, I mean, we're still out here, but it just we were tired last we're week. and I think, Yeah. It just sucks that we're good at our job. Uh, San, uh, actually, <laughs> yeah. San Diego Loyal is going to witness me myself being amazing at my job on thursday because yeah again to their credit they do go out to the community we've been planning this i robbed you apparently Is of the one? san diego loyal visiting your program instead of and instead of they're going to my program i guess Según. Um, dicen por ahí. <laughs> dicen por ahí, por ahí. you went rogue apparently um, <laughs> some emails might have said that uh anyway uh. san diego loyal is coming over to uh our place of uh work uh out in the community so credit to them uh, they're gonna send a couple players hopefully ho I mean, hopefully um but yeah so that'll be later on in the week we can maybe talk about that you're gonna um, are you, okay 
Mm-hmm. Are we recording any no. of this? No. Okay, cool. That's fine. No. That's it's, fine. It's, no, it's yeah, yeah, no, separate. No, yeah, no, it absolutely is. I no agree. double I agree. dipping. I agree. I agree. No, uh, they were, but yeah, so I need to figure out which kids have waivers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, anyways, Yikes. that's a different topic. But anyway, so we were at this yes. MLS first supporters group yes. meeting yes. official. Yes. And you know, and the boy Sebastian, I mean, uh, if you haven't met him at any of these events, great boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, great person great has, been, has been doing everything to make sure the community's heard. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was a bunch of questions just to get an input from the community. Look, I'll be completely honest. I'm, I mean, it, we had just finished doing an all staff training. Yeah. Um, again, back to work. This is very work heavy, I guess. Um, <laughs> and we were just done doing these team building activities of like, all right, guys, like we're do this, we're gonna play, blah, 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 blah. and then we go and we're like, man, I'm tired. I really do. I really want to go. Like, I need to get up at, I need to be at work at four a.m. Uh, <laughs> and this event just keeps on rolling. Uh, by the way, yeah. So just ba- really quickly to to address, like, I, 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 yeah, this didn't necessitate a live pod. It didn't. And so this is why we're talking about it now. We will get into Mexico and all that happened that this last couple of weeks. It's been a wild, crazy couple of weeks. And so, um essentially that's took for uh 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 uh, i don't even know man like there wasn't really much to fill in there's a lot of time left like this is very very beginning preliminary stuff that has to happen uh but with uh with regards of like those team building activities there was conversations are like okay if you are uh for this name go on this side if you're for this name and again details are details go to the events uh if you are involved if you're listening you can probably uh hit up a couple people and find out exactly when the next one is uh i guess that was part of the event too finding out when the next san diego mls uh, supporters group meeting will be how often so so i welcome people to get involved a a, a random fox reporter was there yeah uh never seen her in any of the the Uh soccer events yeah she looked lost uh which again, it goes back to how they promoted it. It's smart, but then it's like, okay, well, this is what it was. Yeah, cool. gotcha. And the thing is, for a lot of people, this is new. Yeah. But there are people in the community that have been through similar stuff already. Yeah. With Soccer City, with yeah. Loyal, with all this. So, a lot of this is very similar, and it brings back all that trauma for a lot of these people. Yeah, it's trigger a, them. yeah. It 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 can, it can do both, right? Yeah. And so I really like the, um. The openness, like li- literally, literally everybody got the microphone. There yeah. were there were there were people who were children, <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, that sounds good. And and you know what, I really like that. Like, I don't, I don't you didn't have to do it into the microphone. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, that it was a live re- representation of what the that kid was did. pretty good. Um, and then I mean. It was really open, it, and that's really what it was. It was an open forum. It was a live mm-hmm. discussion. Um, interesting to see. Again, I I would have been very very curious in my in my head can and headspace as far as like some of the questions were like, okay, would you rather have this color scheme or this color scheme or other? And so other took most of that time as far like well, if it should be named SDFC FC, FCSD or other. Hey, other, why should it be this? And it was like a line of this is why, this is this, this is that. Um, I am hard pressed to believe that a $500 million anything would still have such large questions really out for the open. <clears throat> if they do, credit to them. If they don't, wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't think less of anybody, yeah. anybody or anything. Like, if, yeah, of, of course. But <clears throat> hey, uh, Chiba, what's a good what's a good color scheme that you would like? Purple. Uh huh. All right. With baby blue. With San Diego. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you you thinking that? Uh, all right. Like anything else? And then everybody at the event was like, you know what? Purple and baby blue is it? Like. North Carolina, NC, OTNC, whatever, like blue you want, like, sure, like they represent this, sure. Yeah, that's it. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah. Would they have just said, all right, San Diego MLS's colors are this and this? Because this group, of, these, people. This group of people, the supporters decided, like, I'm, I'm, I, 
you know, again, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Uh, as soon as um, we have confirmations and stuff, like yeah. we can we can start rolling out with speculations. We did roll out with speculations, something that was mentioned there. Uh, the blue, uh, red, black, and red and black. So mm-hmm. whatever. Um, it was it an did, interesting event for sure. Though. Yeah, it was very interesting. That kind of led into another interesting area uh, for two balls at a mic, which was the denial slash eventual approval of our um, Mexico credentials. credentials. And so that was a little bit of a roller coaster just because, you know, much like early in the season, we had to fight for a season-long pass. And now I'm learning a lot just based based on how things are. Like, you can't record. This is why we haven't done a lot of vlogs for Wave and anything else at Snapdragon. It's just because you can only record a certain amount of time Mm -hmm. at the beginning of the match. If you get something, great. If you don't, you don't. And more into the analysis of the game is it turns out it's it's easier from the press box just because you know you get a better view you get a better view you You get get a better view of um just everything and you know i I love being sidelined just because i feel like i'm in the game (laughs) i feel like i'm in the game and i i I don't miss it as much uh being separated from it is is different on its own but um but you do see it from a different view yeah you see a different view different people different Different everything. Um, but like you were saying, yeah, we ended up getting approved for the Mexico game against Cameroon, which is a uh, friendly in preparations for the Nations League semifinal against Mex- uh, against the U.S. on this Thursday. Uh, very official, everything. Sending emails with in- initiaries and like this is gonna happen this day. Uh, we get one saying, "Hey, Did you just gonna say the be- word initiaries." Yeah, that stopped me in my tracks. Oh, continue. I just because it said on the email, I was like, I don't even know what this means, but cool, thank you. Yeah, cheater, <laughs> cheater, lady. But anyways, we get told there's gonna be a press box with Diego Coca and the Cameroon head coach. I should know his name, but Cameroon head coach. Ah, uh, song in French. Song. Pour le vous français, uh, yeah, uh, Monsieur Song. On Friday. Comment allez-vous, Monsieur? Like I, I, I couldn't be there. You couldn't. I ended up being able to make it. I pulled up. I didn't get to ask anything. Up. They only asked like four or five questions. <clears throat> okay. And after that, who? Mark Ziegler got his question. San Diego Union Tribune. Sh- shout out. You know, shout we, out we, I gave him my card, so I guess watch sure. out because you might be listening now. No, for watching. sure. No, he got to ask the question. I mean, he's been in the soccer scene that's, so that, far. That, that's why I gave you my card, Mark. Like, if we need more up, soccer type questions, you let us know. Let we us can, know. We we'll can help we can you help, out. We can, you know, help out. Work together. Uh, you know, and ask this question, and other people ask their question. Uh, Diego Coca, very calming voice. Yeah. Argentino, very calming. Yeah. Compared to what we're used to from hearing from Argentinians. Uh, that guy's a genius. A I mean, you, you got you to gotta look at Diego Coca and say, wow, this guy made Atlas be campeones. Yeah. Like, that, that's take that, someone that knows what they're yeah. doing for sure. So, Diego Coca is, look, is a good coach. Look, it took Pep Guardiola how many tries with Man City to win a Champions League? That's true. Like, and, like, 2 billion euros after? Yeah. I mean, uh, Atlas Atlas could beat this Chimet. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas, keep going. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the, pr- after the press conference, they let us go out to see Mexico's training for the 15 minutes. Uh-huh. You, get, you could record anything, just not go live, obviously. Uh, so, it's cool. Memo Choa wasn't there. He ended up being at the game, just not available to play. Uh, and then other than that, like, you know, it's it's very different than what we're used to. Super professional. They hand you a it's mic to ask setting. questions. Obviously, you can't transmit live. If you it's don't have very, the very strict, very professional. And honestly, I love it because it's just, it's elevating our game to another yeah. level. Has not lost. You. So I'm saying, Marky Mark, UT, you're going to get subscribers. You're going to get follow. If you need me to write, let me know. I'll, I'll get paid for it. That's why I really haven't written for San Diego Punto Football. Check out San Diego Punto Football, uh, the hub for, that's the worst transition. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is what uh, San Diego's uh, representation of a soccer question was to La Selección Mexicana before. And the same question is, you, Mexico has played four games with the U.S. coach, has not lost, but the level of competition has not been what it will be now. 
You're playing a team that beat Brazil in the World Cup tomorrow night. How much better does your team have to play to continue to remain in the field? So I, I think the, the separation there of knowledge of the sport, it's just it initially is, is in that question and not faulting anybody for this because, again, he does a really good job and, and he's fantastic at the business of the game, of the, the schematics of mm-hmm. it. But as far as like that question itself, right, like anybody who does understands kind of what's happening here is like, okay, this is a friendly. The, the question before that was, and I play that because that's the only one in English really. Uh, was uh, oh, have you, you has, seen a Mexico game in San Diego? Have before? you seen a Mexico game in San Diego before? Trying to get like the outcome, like an answer of the atmosphere, what the San Diego crowd is. I mean, I get it. And then this question you were saying. Yeah. So essentially, um, the World Cup is the culmination of a four year project for everybody. Yeah. Players retire, players move, players develop, players get injured. When you're restarting everything after a World Cup, that's just you feeling things out. Mexico has uh, compromisos. They have games. They have uh, friendlies that they need to take care of. Uh, it's a huge market. I mean, how many people were there, man? Like, I've ne- I've never seen anything like it just because I've never seen a Mexico game in person. But uh, just I just the amount of money, 30,000 people at Snapdragon, and, and those tickets aren't cheap. Let's just say 80 bucks. Let's just round it up with tax to 100 Right, hundred times thirty thousand. Figure it out. Um, mm-hmm. Three hundred thousand. No, three million. I don't know. No, Matt, again. So. But yeah, so it's 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 the question that was asked, and you know, um, he he answered it, and you know, it's, I mean, as professional as you can. Sorry. Go ahead. What? No, you're good. There's some flashing lights outside. Don't tell me that, bro. You've seen some videos over in Las Vegas, some stories, nine foot people coming out after a UFO reportedly crashes in a backyard. No, like there were some like yellow flashing lights, like, but it went away. So we're yeah. good. Yeah, we're safe. We're I recording think. this in a fucking garage. <laughs> Maybe some cars will pull up in front. I don't know. A family of five lives here, Jiva. It's not your dungeon of, of pleasure that you live in, all right? I was just worried, man. Just, ow, ow. Ow. Uh, ow. Well, anyways. So, uh, okay, so you, training, did you take anything from training? Like, like how was it? Like, uh, I mean, people? what we got to watch was, like, the stretches and then a little roundabout and stuff like that. So I couldn't really get, like, anything. And, and they, that's why they give you the first 50 minutes because... They don't want you to see the tactics or anything. After that, they tell you, okay, you can stay inside. You can stay for the press conference with the uh, head coach for Cameroon. Uh, but if you're working here, you can't be in front of the window where you can still see the training. No one was allowed to look at it anymore. And again, it's to not give anything away. And I get it. I mean, it's cool. Um, but then following all this, we get to game day. Yeah. And I mean, Tony's a perfectionist where... He wants to be the first one there, the last one out. And, and yes, let's do it. It's our biggest credentials get. And we get there. And we know there's going to be tailgates. I've been to Mexico games. I know it's going to be a party before it. What was it for you? Like, I felt like it was just a shock of how everyone was, like, just vibing, chilling. So many, like, asadores con carne, aguachile, ceviche, everything. I'm pretty Americanized. Yeah. Like I'm you are. pretty Americanized. But it's like one of the things. I'm the most American Mexican. But I'm also the most Mexican Mexican. Ah. Like I've I've lived all these people, not these obviously these people, no. Oh, <laughs> gente hey. linda, gente linda. Um hey, hey. But, all, but the people who like are you were never lived in Mexico. They yeah. don't know. Like, they don't know. Oh, they don't yeah, know. Yeah. That's, like, I, that's I grew point, yeah. up in Mexico. Like, mm-hmm. there. I went to school there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a different level. Like, yeah, it is. Like, yeah, I can I hold a conversation saying. with somebody as soon as, like, oh, we was in La Cacho. Ah, morra mamona. Like, whatever. Like, vale verga. Like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> clip. Um, but, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things where, okay, these are, I connected, like, deeply. Like, yeah. 
we get there super early. There's already people there. We were going to meet the, with the Chavos. Um, Chavos of San Diego. And we just get there. There's already people setting up full games. Like, of course you do. Like, of course you do. Las banda, los like, los I los wanted to get in the game. Like, la banda, like, I. Sorry. You don't like that. Most mistake. American Mexican. I don't really like yeah, it. Yeah, it's not your shit. I feel it. <laughs> but when I'm in it, I'm like, all right. Bro, like, I went and looked for this song. Yeah, I was very surprised. <laughs> but anyways, like, we go and, you know, there's, like, tailgates and all this. We get offered food, drinks, everything. And, I mean, it's it's honestly a good time. I don't know. Do you generally, like, do you enjoy, like, I, I yeah, you do, obviously, because I know you. You're going to put me on the spot with later with Osvaldo, but I'm going to yeah, put yeah, you yeah. now on the spot. Like, you were like, oh, I don't like approaching people. I'm like, I guess I got this. Like, ah. and then I, I, I was just like, that I don't like approaching like, people, but you, you know what's a word that I would describe myself as that nobody would? What? I'm shy. I yeah, am. Yeah, you I'm, are. I'm, I'm, I'm you shy. Are. Like, I'm quiet. Like, if I don't want to talk to you, like, just don't talk to me. Like, it's, <laughs> I'm, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Like, I'm gonna yes. this. Like, it's like I don't want to have to do this. But if I have uh, to, I'm like, all right. Ba, 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 ba. Um, it was really good seeing a lot of people out there that I've never seen before. And so we didn't really have an angle for what to do. I didn't know what I was going to do. If we were going to do a vlog, if we were going to do a video, mm -hmm. but like I've always loved and liked, uh, Mundial coverage from, uh, Televisa where they have Eugenio Derbez, man on the street. Yeah. Um, and all that. So I was like, okay, maybe we can do some of that, but like, what are we doing here? Like, mm -hmm. what are we doing? What are these two dipshits doing covering La Selección Mexicana? Like, and that's the thing, though. It's because they're in San Diego. Exactly. And, and, that, and that's the story, right? And that's why we were very on, we need to be in this game. We're still like, okay, are we applying for any other Gold Cup games other than the semifinal here at Snapdragon? Mm -hmm. and, and, that's, and that's the thing, right? It's taking time off work. It's spending money on flights. It's spending all this. For coverage to get our name out there, we're still debating on that, but we're yeah. gonna be at the semifinal at Snapdragon for sure because it's in it's in San Diego. It's in Sa it's San Diego uh, soccer. But and that essentially, I wanted to approach people and just essentially ask, "Have you been to any loyal games? Have you been to any wave games? Anything like that? I mean, you're excited for MLS, you're here for Mexico, but have you been to any other?" And a lot of people were saying no. Some people said yes, especially in the Chavos area, obviously. But then it's just interesting to see how people really don't know about loyal. Yeah, because I mean, and even the person that because I asked a lot more people. I'm not here to try to put anybody on the spot to embarrass anybody, mm -hmm. even if that's the right term or wrong term. Like, even to be like, look, like this is the reality of things. This is where you stand. People can say like, oh, people are you're gonna choose this over this. Come over here, like. People are just aren't connecting. Like, they yeah. are not connecting. The people who are going to connect with San Diego Loyal in the next couple of years before MLS are the people that are really itching for some soccer live. Like, okay, maybe I want to see soccer live before MLS comes in. Like, they, that's going to be the new demographic that's going to be coming in. Because everybody else is set. They're locked. Like, mm -hmm. they are locked from here until whenever um, with San Diego Loyal. But there were a lot of people who had no idea. No idea. The yeah. one person I asked, I'm like, hey, ¿sabes quién es la Donovan? Sí. sí. Hijos de chingada madre. Sí. Was usually the answer. Um, ¿Es que tiene equipo? Ah, uh, sí, sí. sí. So, I mean, to, to, maybe they're really up, up to date. They're really, oh, actually, I knew he was a coach, but I know he now is the EVP, and now he's a, <laughs> so kind <laughs> no, of his no, team. No one, no one like, in that story um, was told of that. And there was like, well, they, they, there's a team here. Have you been to this game? No. You have to real. Uh, I'm here just commenting. You have to realize many of these fans are also not from San Diego. Uh, everyone that we've talked to was from San Diego. That's yeah, except for the Glendale guy. Except for the Glendale guy. But I'm, I'm and we didn't ask him. Obviously, we're not going to ask him about San Diego loyal. Yeah, no, no. Or San Diego stuff because he lives in Glendale. He. We actually asked him if he had an MLS team. He's like, oh, Galaxy, which then spurred another set of questions of like, huh, why would you be a San Diego loyal supporter if you're a Galaxy fan, if you're exactly. an LAFC fan? Uh, obviously, there's our, there's overlap with LAFC and San Diego loyal. And that's fine. Like, it's fine. Again, my stance, 
It's mm-hmm. it's gonna work. It's gonna work it here in San Diego. Hopefully everything works out. Uh, but back to you know, this is bigger yeah. than anything. Mm-hmm. This is bigger than, I mean, what's currently here. I I I don't know if. I don't know if thirty thousand of one fan base is gonna fill out Snapdragon with uh, other than Manchester United this summer. Dortmund and loyal play. I, well, that how much? How, how many loyal supporters will there be in like that? Realistically, how, I mean, July gonna, match like, exactly. I mean, it's gonna be a good six, seven thousand loyal fans, but then. How many fans are just going to see Borussia Dortmund to see a European team, right? Uh, and, and we'll get there when we get there. But that, that's a great question. Like, I want to see the attendance for that game. But other than that, like, just moving on with what the day looked like, right? Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. to all these people. It's cool. We're getting drink. We're getting food. We're like, we shouldn't be drinking at all today. <laughs> we, we, we did not. We did not. Pusimos hasta la mano. Uh, and you know, and we were like, all right, cool. Should we head over to the room? I had to poop. <laughs> I had to use the bathroom really bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm not going to use the porta potty here. I want to go in the stadium, in the press room, in that bathroom. That's by itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we head over. Yeah. You we're always, we're always, it. <laughs> see, we <laughs> see lo tapo, uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to eating. And we're like, hey, what are we going to get to eat at this game for the press media? Uh, no, by the way. It wasn't ready yet. Yeah, it wasn't ready yet, but I was okay because Remy, a member of the Chavos de Loyal, yeah, yeah, yeah. his mom made some bomb-ass ceviche. My ha- my dad worked at a fish market. My uncle worked at a fish market. My other uncle still works at that fish, at that fish plant. Yeah. I worked there. I know what grade A fish is and grade A seafood is my yeah, entire spoiled. I'm, I'm picky with it. Uh, that was one of the best tostadas de ceviche I've ever had. So shout out to <laughs> uh, shout out to good. Remy's mom. Nah, um, shout out to Remy. Remy's a real one. Like I've también, güey. También, sí. But yeah, so so we're in the press room. Yeah, meeting people, shake, uh, shake, shaking hands, shaking kissing hands, babies, yep. kissing babies. Yeah, I love that term that you use. And you know, we're talking to Craig. We're talking. He's like, "Hey, wh- wh- where's the food gonna be ready?" And then it ended up being ready. Uh huh. Some of the best mac and cheese I've ever had. The the the, the Snapdragon uh, people have gone down. That's like, n- mac and cheese was phenomenal. So there's a there's and again this is us taking. We you. need to make a vlog. Oh, man, no. Of just the food oh, the that we get. The amount of trips that I take for. <laughs> no no no, just the different food and rating it. Hey, this Mexico camera, we ate this, this, and this. Yeah. It was a seven out of ten. At this wave game, we ate th- that would be. If you guys would like to see something like that, because again, know, you're going, that, would be, that would be dope. You're going through. Um, this uh, is what I want. You're going this to through be. what we're doing. Like, like you guys are watching traveling. this because you essentially want to see us get to the World Cup, but we want to bring you guys along with this, and this is part of it. This is media get fed, except that loyal games, uh, apparently. But anyways, cheap shot there. I'm mad that we don't get paid. Oh, that's what I was going to But anyways, the food's ready. Mac and cheese. Got, uh, so, no. They have this salmon and veggies, and it is in one area. And we're all like, oh, great. And they look at us and say, there's mac and cheese and meat uh, over there. Yeah, they look at us like, uh, you guys us, ain't eating salmon and veggies. Craig, we're like, mac and cheese, meat, let's walk that way. Phenomenal. The dessert, great. There was, like, some, like, pastries. And then I see a different one. It's, like, some cheesecake in cubes. And I grabbed that, and you and our, our boyfriend, my News. My doctor is not going to be happy with the amount of sugar I <laughs> ate that day. Yeah. Or food no, for that matter. No, no, no. What's the name of our boy from EVT? Uh, I'm blanking on his name, but... Uh, Abraham? He, Abra- no, no, not Abraham. Uh, Francisco? Francisco. He, he, like, looks up, and he's like, his eyes just feels like, where the <laughs> fuck did you get that? Like, oh, shit. Um, Your eyes did the same thing though. Yeah, no, and then it's like, all right, let's go get all the desserts. So, anyways, that's the experience watered. we got when it came to food at Snapdragon for this game. It was delicious. Uh, Johnny I'm, from I'm, Everything I'm, San Diego kept judging you for maybe getting us getting seconds. 
Ah, chimorrito mamón. No, I'm going to show you, like, no, 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 like, people, gente, I'm going to show you what it was in just a second because this this is a different level. And again, it's very interesting uh, because, yeah. <laughs> of, course I, of course, I took a picture of, of it, course, Chimar. Of course. Yeah, I did too. I've been taking pictures of these every time yeah, because I send it yeah. to my girlfriend and be like, mira lo que estoy comiendo. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what I'm eating. Um, what do you guys not get food at SD Loyal Games? Uh, they used to give us food vouchers. They stopped doing it this season. Uh, budget cuts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, the boy. <laughs> Look at this food. Salad. The, you got everything. You had your veggies, your carbs, your protein, like everything on this plate. This is my plate. Very well assembled. Give me a second. Here. <laughs> it's a big picture. But yeah, no, that's literally like our experiences when it comes to like food so, in the so, media world. So, so that mac and cheese was a um, oven crust, oven yeah, yeah, toasted yeah. crusted mac truffle mac and cheese, along with a delicious salad with uh, dressing, potatoes again because you need that uh the starchy the carbs yeah the 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 carne oh. chimichurri style like yeah dude it was good. Oh. Oh my God. It's like melting your mouth. It was delicious. Honestly, Snapdragon, chefs, outstanding. Outstanding. I actually made friends with one, and I might get hooked up during the Coldplay concert. So I already oh, got secured. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm secured. Hell yeah. Um, uh, anyways, we're just sitting. We're talking before the game starts. You just tell me something. Mm -hmm. You look at me and you say, is that Osvaldo Sanchez? I want you to take it away from here. Oh, the boy. Mm -hmm. No, keep going. No, you you wanted to share this part of the story. No, it's fine. Okay, so. No, it's Tony, fine. Tony Shut just up. looks at Shut me up. and says, is that Osvaldo Sanchez? I'm like, oh, shit, that no, is Osvaldo it, Sanchez. It, no, no, what pissed me off is that it took like three or four or five fucking nudges of you, me saying, is that Osvaldo Sanchez for you to pay attention? Because I needed to be sure, and I'm like, wait, okay, no, no, he you, works you, for you Univision like, to the mm -hmm. N.A. I was working on stuff. Yeah, but but anyway, I tell you something as important. You look and react immediately because <laughs> the up, moment stop, might be shut feeding. Up, shut up, shut up. I'm like, okay, go talk to him. They're about to get. He's about to get coffee with someone else. A colleague of this. Tony goes to the fridge next to the uh, coffee. The Keurig gets water. He's like, oh, I think he needs water. <laughs> like trying to start the conversation. Oswaldo Sanchez says, no, no, no. There's water. Okay, and and you froze and walked away. He said, "I have to keep it professional. Can't talk to him." I'm like, "No, you can introduce yourself. That's Oswaldo freaking Sanchez. Your goddamn legend, your idol." And you froze. I had to go and say, "Okay, hey, Oswaldo Sanchez, mucho gusto, Alejandro. Oh, Alejandro, qué tal? Sí, cubrimos aquí yo y mi colega uh, Tony. You're like, oh, José Antonio. He goes, oh, mi Tony. I'm like, well, yeah, we cubrimos football aquí en San Diego. Ah, oh, qué padre. Shook your hand." And you're like, me dijo mi Tony. And you fangirled the shit out of it. The first time I ever see the amazing Tony Sanchez freeze talking to someone. Like, I've never seen that happen. But this is his freaking legend. It's your idol. It's who you looked up to. Mm. You shook his hand. Yeah. What went through your mind? This is never going to happen. Like I knew I was freezing in the moment, and I'm like, this is never going to happen again. Like this is this yeah. is it. Like Ronaldinho, no. Messi, Ronaldo, like no. Like that's not. I met Osvaldo Sanchez. The thing is, I wasn't expecting to see Osvaldo Sanchez. Like it, it was didn't cross our mind. I'm like to the end. It just makes sense. There was a chance we could have met Perro Bermudez. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If if he was hungry for some delicious mac and cheese, like maybe he doesn't like mac and cheese. Uh, maybe he went to the salmon line. We didn't even see him. Um, <laughs> Check actually. I uh, no. took the port. Next <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Okay, like you met your idol. How was that? So I mean, again, it wasn't it was unexpected and, and like okay. So let me tell this side, right? It, it was just like he needed help. He, him and another official from La Selección were just fidgeting with the Keurig, like they couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, huh? that's my hero complex. Huh? I'm gonna help with Ronald Sanchez. And I'm like, and once I got there, I'm like, I like I need to have a conversation after this to introduce myself. But he needs help. He doesn't need to be meeting people right now. He's gonna he needs his coffee. Like he didn't end up getting coffee because he's like, oh no, like it upset the stomach, and I'm gonna be doing it. Like, you know, yeah, exactly. Um, I wish I could eat that soda. Uh, 
<laughs> but you met your idol, man. That's what it matters. was like. Yeah, That's you know, crazy. And I'm like, and you know what? No tiene agua. They had a fan meet and greet autograph session with Carlos Alcido and Matador at the fan party they had. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, you know what? No, they messed their cagando. I need to go to the bathroom. And I told you, you met Osvaldo Sanchez. That's better than Salcido and Matador. Yeah, 100%. Um, this uh, fan footage, uh, courtesy of somebody there. It's the celebration of like... The first goal? The first tying goal. goal. The first tying goal. Um, that was the second. Just that sound at Snapdragon. Like, I don't know, man. Like, it was, it was something, something really cool. Chavos did... Did their best there. You um, know what was cooler though? Hmm. Not the wave. What happened after? Let's go. What happened after the game ended? So they experienced. Okay. So we know. So you and I know. Yeah. Snapdragon. It's our home field. It's home field. Mm -hmm. So we know where everything's at. They have people running things, and they were told, "Oh, the media room is here." Like, cool. But yes, you were saying the experience. Yeah. So we're waiting. Right. We're waiting for. Uh, to be escorted to the uh, press to the press conference, they're gonna have a press conference at Zona Mixta. Zona Mixta is just they send some players out down a path for the bus, the exit, and if the players want to, they'll stop. Some some players they tell them you have to talk to the press. A certain amount of players that they send through to talk, and then they go right. You see all the other players pass by. You can like say hi and stuff like that. Some of the media know everyone knows other players, whatever. So they have both. We're told, oh, it's going to be after the press conference. Cool. We head to the press conference room. We get front row seats. Uh -huh. uh, and it's delayed. Like, we get the French national team coach. Yeah. Cool questions. I so, was considering it. Yeah, I was really I know, considering I know, it. I know, like, but I, I had some other people I, asking there was one, French. There was one question. Let's see if I could have asked in English. Yeah. But again, I'm the only dipshit asking in English for the sake of asking a question. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need to be hearing my the sound of my own voice. But, yeah, 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 I have for a sure. podcast. That, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um. By the way, just really quickly, was it hard to have you to be professional, knowing that you were about a fanboy as well? I, I was I, after that moment, like I was like, oh, I can meet whoever, but like, <laughs> I kept it to the point where I did not ask for a picture. Yeah. Next time, maybe like, ah, estamos colegas, we're colleagues. Like, okay, cool. Um, I think our boys here. Okay, you can you can check them in. You can check them in, and I'll kind of tell the this side of the story real quick. Um, no, I did not wear a suit, Afmir, because um, we're going to remain being ourselves through and through um, as we prepare. Um, let's see if this works. As we prepare here um, for what's coming up next. Can uh, no Can this yes? Essentially... Uh, I, I didn't even forgot what was. Okay, cool. So we're in the you press didn't conference. Didn't take a picture. Didn't take a picture. Yeah. Whatever. We're in the press conference. Je ne sais pas. Pour les vous français. I didn't do it. Um, je ne sais pas. So the press conference ends for uh, Cameroon, and and we get told, hey. Before, too. Before. Time yeah. out. I'm so time sorry. Out, time out. Cool. Home field advantage, right? We know yes. where everything's at. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're going to lead you into the conference room. I'm like, I know exactly where this is. I should probably leave, oh, leave right now. Oh, my God. They tried I should to take probably us leave to the right elevator. now. They try to take us to the elevator. Elevator. Pack. Pack. And I'm like, Stairs. Things, stairs. Yeah, we left that like, lady I just, behind. Like, I know where we left at. that lady behind. Front row, like, made it there. Hey, hola, que onda? And then, uh, surprisingly, one of the Cameroonian uh, media members beat me to it. Like, he yeah, was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was behind. He I mean, he was right behind. I was, I was like, right, walking right next to him. He was right behind you. But that press conference ends, and we get told, hey, players are already starting to come out. For yeah. Sona Mixta. Yeah. I tell you, you know what? I think it's better content if we get players interviews mm -hmm. then the press conference the press conference is going to get uploaded anyways yeah i dip out i go to sona mixta while you wait for the coca for the press conference yeah do you want to talk about the press conference all right, right so now? Do you want me to talk uh, about press mixta? conference with diego coca is um is delayed a little bit he's going to be a little bit late which i'm like all right sure so in that time i'm just kind of debating where they're like hmm am i going to ask this in english or spanish because everybody's going to ask in, in, in spanish yeah our boy from the UT was also there, so I'm like, okay, that's at least one question in English. Um, well, we're going to welcome our friend Alan here in a bit. Um, but uh, <laughs> I can just talk and set up, which yeah, is fine. Yeah, for sure. We are, we're, we've been pros at this. Um, but in, in essence, um, I asked the first question to the Okoka 
Well, so second question in English. I decided on English just because it was going to be that. We're missing one. Uh, yeah. Um, um, and then, so essentially, it. I asked, yeah, go for it. I asked uh, in English, how, oh, like, and English comes first before the Spanish because there's more in Spanish than in English. And so I'm like, hey, uh, which is the, the most ridiculous part, guys. Like, I, I, I got to say to the Selección coach after I got selected for the question, uh, Tony Sanchez, two balls and a mic. And like, that's just ridiculous. I should not be able to say that in a press conference. Like, okay, uh, Tony Sanchez, two balls and a mic. Uh, I just want to know, like, uh, what is it like having the experience of uh, playing here in San Diego? Uh, as <laughs> no, I didn't ask that. Uh, essentially, I asked like this: this this rival. Um, what are some good things that you learned from it? How is this going to prepare you for the Nations League final, a uh, semifinal, this next weekend? And uh, essentially. He had a very good answer. And did you wear a suit? No, he he dressed Tony nice. I I I, I dressed <laughs> I dressed like me, um, because I am me. And so this is him getting the translation of what it was in in Spanish. <laughs> And again, San Diego soccer, this is what we're there for. I also did the kicker of like, hey, like MLS is coming here. Like, uh, do you think that having this growth, having the growth of the MLS here, this is a new stadium for the MLS. You're literally seeing the game grow in the States physically right now. Mm -hmm. Do you want the Federation of Mexico to mirror that in order to help the Selección? Like, what do you want? That second question was kind of ignored. Because the first answer was so good. It asked a lot of us. We're playing with a World Cup team, a fast team, a strong team, uh, so it helped us um, uh, get prepared. And then there's a, <laughs> and then there's another video that has better quality. Actually, uh, picking up exactly where that was, right here. I know because he's finished drinking water. Y nos demuestra que todavía tenemos que corregir y mejorar muchas cosas. Los dos goles de ellos fueron errores nuestros. And it shows us also that there's a lot of things that we got to fix. Both of their goals were mistakes that we made. Pero también la actitud del equipo me, me ha gustado. Y el equipo con balón y tácticamente fue superior al rival. Así que muy buenas conclusiones para lo que viene. It's a good answer. A good thing is that we had a very good attitude out there, and I thought that tactically we were better than our rival, which is a good sign of things to come. Good very translation. Good. <laughs> and then, and then I, get the, I get the little wink. I get the little, the little nod. Right there, right there. He's, He's eye contact. You. And I'm like, Muchas gracias. Very good. Ah, the boy! <laughs> going to go... Um, yeah, you didn't text me. He looked at me. <laughs> like I saw the answer when you texted it to me, but I didn't. I didn't see that. Uh, while you then, were doing this, yeah, and then yes, while I was doing uh -huh. this, and then just like again, everybody picked this up. My question was the one that's on. That's on Marca. That's on yeah, Tevesteca. Yes that's on Tudene. Like, get some credit, guys. Like I said, my name, Tony Sanchez. Two balls at a mic. It's not that hard. Scout on us. Um, but yeah, so while you, I was do while you while I was doing that, you I went were, to the Sona Mixta and I was asking, okay, like the mix zone. Me, media with rights are here, media with no rights are here. So we're like at the end. I've done, I've did this with America Cholos uh, and it's a bloodbath. It's like try to get your question in. I'm like, okay, cool. Like w our boy Imor and I went to the side and asked Kevin Alvarez, who she don't have, but I got Tiva Sepulveda. Like, by myself, just three questions. Uh, and I was super hyped. This is a center back from Chivas. No translation here, guys. Sorry. No translation. But essentially, I asked him. Uh, You're playing in Chivas. How is the so style I asked him, like, how, what, what has been the most difficult thing to adapt or transition from 
playing under Coca to Palomovic from Chivas. He answered like, oh, you know, just adapting to a back line of five, back line of four. I just got to adapt better. I asked him, do you personally feel like you're on the, on the right path to get to the World Cup in 2026? He said, I think I am. I think I've been making a difference. That's my dream. That's a good question. Yeah. And then I, I mean, I've asked every other player, what did you, how did you like the atmosphere here in San Diego? Some of them I asked, would you see yourself playing in this team in 2025? All right. So let, let's just kind of <laughs> jump into that, right? So yeah, Tiva Sepulveda, you had the, the man of the match. Kevin Alvarez. Uh, Kevin yeah. Alvarez. You who, signed for America for $4.5 million. Jump change. Um, so you had him for a couple questions here. Yeah. And so in the in between, you saw uh, Francois Meme. Me mandó la ver a todos. Uh, he was having a moment with his uh, friend here, Tiba, uh, este Kevin right there. Then you asked Luis Romo. Luis Romo. And then. <laughs> I mean, I asked him the a, same thing. He's like, oh. That's a scary let's, face. Let's, let's, I asked him, do you see yourself playing here? He said, oh, well, you know, got to stay in the present where I'm playing right now. Charlie. Charlie Rodriguez just said, yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was cool. It was cool. He's on his way out. Uh, Henry Martin completely just walked past me. And he's like, yeah, like blew me off. <laughs> yeah, Screw no, like him. everything him, you saw here. For America, I don't care. Everything you saw here was actually the whole interaction of like. Yeah. Henry oh, yeah. Martin. Yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> that was he it. Just, yeah, yeah. Walked away. Same thing with Ochoa. Like the interaction with Ochoa. Ochoa legit at least here. said, nah, good. Like all, other players that played are going to talk. Like I didn't play. Yeah. I respect yeah, that. 100%. I respect that. 100%. He, didn't, he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. He had nothing to do with it. Uh, frequent Those my sister's good, ice cream though. shop at Ben and Jerry's in Seaport Village. So if you ever yeah. know of that Ochoa's in town, he loves himself some Ben and Jerry's. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Like that was, it was really cool seeing some local players uh, behind the scenes. Uh, uh, it was super know, dope. San Diego uh, front office. Seen Raul Jimenez there. passed right by me. Uh -huh. Luis Chavez. I'm like, bro, you've played Call of Duty with my brother. Like, that's crazy. Uh, Mexico plays the U.S. on Thursday. Mexico's mm -hmm. gonna win. Alan disagrees. Alan, Alan come in here. Come in here, Alan. You're, you're, you're here because you can um, talk U.S. You're a fan of the U.S., right? Are you an Albion fan? <laughs> Ooh, an Albion fan. I I do own one of their soccer kits. It's good to see you. How are you good doing? You. Good. good. I'm good. seeing you in a while. Sorry, I missed the game on Friday. He hey. wasn't gonna go. I was supposed to be there. I was just tired. It was all right. It was all right. No, I um. Can you I, hear us good? You hear us good or no? Uh, my cans aren't. You can hear us. Um, what about now? What about now? What about now? What about now? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Does, That's it, does it sound good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Sounds tight. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of what happened in our weekend, Al. Like, I mean. Yeah, it was it was wild. Like City Heights, mm -hmm. like we were walking around the day of the game. I was like, mm, I'll see what tickets are like right before kickoff. And then I was like, mm, I, was I like would like to go. Bucks? I found one for like 50, so it's not that bad. Mm. But it's like, I was like. It was cheaper to go to the Gold Cup game almost than it is then, this friendly. And then $25 yeah. parking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I usually take the trolley in. Yeah, that's better. Way better. But, uh, yeah, through City Heights, there's, like, everyone's wearing their their, their Mexico kits. That mm -hmm. one, one. I love that kit. That's it's such a nice. great kit. It's nice. Yeah. And, like, Mexico flags, like, waving them out of the back of the truck as they right, drive down University. Yeah. It was a party. Like, we went to Ikea. Um, I know, right? And it's like, Of oh, course. We went to Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just driving by that place and seeing everyone out there super early, having a good time partying, like it was super cool to see the Mexican national team playing in the backyard. Next time, I'll probably try to get some tickets to go. Uh, but people were out tailgating, I think, before I even woke up that Saturday. I mean, yeah, it people was, were out there early. It was crazy. We saw the Chavos there. Yeah. We saw families. Out, like, yeah. Again, it just resonated with people playing in the gravel, people playing in the dirt, just people existing in, in there. And, just having a really good time. Like, I never really experienced Charger tailgates, like, mm. as a youngling. Because, yeah. like, mm -mm. no one really in my family liked football, and they wouldn't let me go to a football game. I didn't mm. really want to get yeah. Like, yeah. do through all that. Like, I, I get it. I, I, I've seen it, but, like. Yeah, I feel like it was a culture shock. For I, 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 was, I, was, I was transported into Mexico. There were, like, it, it, everything that. I remember, like, Las yeah. Diaz, like, you know, making the food, like, the families. It's a mm -hmm. carne asada mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. kids. It's a, it's a family event. Mexico, the extended Mexico, families. Mexico. Like, 
Uh, I mean, la, 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 tía, la mama, la, like, this yeah, Morales family. family, like yeah. throwing up gang signs in the back of our videos. Which, uh -oh. what, it's part of it, man. Like, that's what San Diego is. Like, it is what it is, right? Yeah. 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 People coming from Escondido, from Poway. And again, my challenge there, and we're, we'll get into loyal, right? Is like, well, these people haven't gone to a loyal game. Right. Like, let's, let's, right. why not? Like, I don't know. And, and that's above my pay grade at this point. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, I don't want to speak for the folks in this video because I really don't know. But uh, talking to some people in L.A. about why Chivas L.A. Uh, or Chivas USA, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, didn't work out Delft. is like, I mean, there are these folk, there are the people who have like generations of soccer fandom mm -hmm. and football fandom. Like they don't just like jump ship and root for a different team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. They are like they got they have their team and that's what you know like Chiva, uh, Chivas or Club America like these are like generational teams mm -hmm. that you know they're gonna they they're dedicated to those teams yeah. they're not gonna give up that fandom or that support for even if it is in San Diego for maybe a loyal maybe for an MLS club maybe but I mean those those roots run deep and so I yeah. it's gonna be I think. Loyal has the same issue that the MLS team is going to have as well is how do you attract these fans to a game that like it's a brand new team? There's not that same sort of my dad watched, my grandpa watched, my yeah. great grandpa watched like these teams have been in, you know. Yeah. By the way, the highlight of this day, too, besides everything that we went was a little kid saying, I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> I was having to be like. Yeah, I mean, if, if your you TV has YouTube, YouTube yeah, yeah you mean, will be. <laughs> that kid, oh, shout out to the kid wearing the Padres jersey, saying, "I go for the Dodgers." Yeah, oh. just, it's over. It's over for him. Uh, but yeah, uh, everybody rooting. But again, you see it in the background, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Terra Totera. Like, I love it. Yeah, like, it's like, what's going on over there? Like. We were being called like, oh, you guys are interviewing that group. Take Pam a picture of us. Take a picture of us. My favorite, my favorite was there was somebody with like a Blackstone grill in their truck, and we were pulling in to like where IKEA and Loza. Like, oh, that guy's returning that. I was like, oh no, I'm an idiot. He's tailgating. Like, bringing in <laughs> these like huge like setups to tail. Like, it's yeah, it's about it's insane. I mean, I wouldn't be surparised if some of these people didn't even make it into the oh, game. Yeah, yeah. They're in no, the parking lot. Some of these people don't go yeah. in the game. They just yeah. kick it the whole game at the parking lot. Some yeah. of them take TVs or they stream yeah. the game. Yeah. That's what my dad's friends tend to do when it comes to like games. Because instead of going in, they just party in the parking lot. You bring a van, you all pool your money in for a twenty five dollar ticket, and you can stream it. And you're like hanging out with your friends. They you can hear the, the noise yeah. close enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the atmosphere's still the same. It's dope. Yeah. Cool. I asked. I asked these guys, these gentlemen, uh, and it's just like a, like oh, that's right. Like that's such so true. Like the concept of like because <laughs> the whole thing was like hey. Where are you guys from? Oh, we're from Powell. We're from, we're from here. We're from La Mesa. We're from everywhere. Like, I asked most of the people, and, and some of the people were like, hey, where are you from? Oaxaca. Hermosillo. Hermosillo. Like, like repping. Like, no, these these people live in La Mesa. These people live in National City. But they live here. They're saying but me asking, like, like, where are you yeah, from? It's like, yeah. oh, ¿de dónde eres? No, pues Culiacán, 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 Culiacán. Soy de Nayarit. Like, uh -huh. like, y somos todos somos de Nayarit. Like, that's right. Like, the, But where do you family. live? <laughs> um, like, I need to get that... Uh, we met we met the social guys for La Selección who do that go travel around the world with them. Nice. It's, yeah, dude. it's it's really 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 cool. Um, and again, I mean, thank you for you know helping us and and being a part of this, this journey. journey. And don't do that. Don't don't. don't I mean, don't, you're a big part of this. Don't do that. A, a, a student comes back and tells you, "Hey, I made it to the orchestra," and you're like, "No, I just I just mean like <laughs> you, made it to the symphony." In I'm not Sydney, taking Australia. I'm not taking any credit for that. Is what I mean. Like you're thanking me. Like you're the ones out there hustling and making this happen. Um, so, yeah, it was really cool. I know that part of the reason why well, there was, like, a press conference the day of the Loyal match. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. so I went yeah. to that, and after that, I was just like, dude, I'm tired. I'm I just worked, tired. I worked the 10-hour shift I'm before tired. that. I yeah. can't go I was, cover I was like, do I really want to go I'm stand for two to, hours, I'm more, two and a half? I'm going to leave Alan alone. And we'll get to it because you looked very alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I was also buddy. like, I'm I was sorry. also a little tired because uh, I decided to walk around the stadium before <sighs> the match. I watched two miles doing laps around the stadium, like saying what's up to the security guards. And you couldn't even stand. I would. I didn't even ask you to go stand on the sidelines. I told you you can go sit in the press box. I worked the ten hour shift. I was uh, tired. I, I, I had to help and facilitate. Uh, no, your, my, your my, reason was about I was my significant tired. other. Was okay, uh, okay. Get her master's degree. Okay, congratulations Congrats. to her. Yeah, nice. Um. You know, things yeah. that are planned, not, oh, I'm tired. 
Um, it's all good. He's gonna keep hating on it. It's fine. I'm gonna be there Wednesday. Are you? Huh? I'll be late Wednesday. I, my plane lands at seven fifteen. Where are you going? Uh, Oakland. I'm leaving at six thirty in the morning. Doing Catching a training. Catching the roots match or what? No, I'm just <laughs> doing a training during scouting. the day and then <laughs> yeah, scouting. Nate's got me. I got to do some homework. How do we beat that team? Anyway, I, I did see someone yeah. say if if the season finished right now, Loyal would be playing Oakland. Oh, I'm like, why? Of course. Why? Stop of it. Of course. Of course. Stop uh, it. You were there Friday. Yes. Against that, essentially the best team in the USL right now. Yes. Sacramento. Yes. And I mean, it's no secret, right? They're on fire right now. They're playing great. They're winning games. And I was a little surprised when I saw the end of the match that we that the team tied one one. But you were there. Yeah. What was the vibe like? You said you walked two miles before the game. <laughs> no. um, yeah, I got there a little early. Um, I've been, you know, I'm down about ten pounds. So nice. Hell yeah. I've been trying to walk. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna get my steps today. I'm supposed to get like nine thousand steps today. Not gonna happen. I. Um, do you want to know how many? We many could I'm stand in? up and finish this. I know. Like, walk, like walking place. around. Um, no, it was. <laughs> I mean, it was a cool vibe. I think everyone was super excited. There's only a couple of people dressed up. I wore a shirt that was a little bit 1980s. My steps today. Woo, 18,000. Good for you, buddy. Um, that's a lot. That's like yeah, almost 10 work. miles. It's work. Oh, fair. Uh, but I think people were excited for this kit. It looks great. Uh, yeah, I really I liked it. I, I I mean, I was critical when we saw it. Just the back, the Corralejo tequila. Yeah. Sources uh, confirmed that Corralejos was, was not happy, not happy there. Uh oh. Uh, but I mean, that was the only. Other than that, it's a beautiful kit. I yeah. really like yeah. it. It looks sharp on the pitch. The purple goalie kit is also amazing. Um, so yeah, it looked really nice on the pitch. Um, I think that the the vibe was interesting. It was a Friday night, um, so a little bit different than a Saturday night. Um, but the vibe was good. Uh, the lineup was pretty solid with who they had. There was, a, I think, there was a little bit of like apprehension in the air because it is mm-hmm. Sacramento. Uh, although a one nil loss earlier in the season um, is nothing to uh, sneeze at to, for Sacramento, right? Sacramento's given up like six goals all season and yeah. Yeah. scored. They've scored in buckets in the past. Um, but it was a it was a nice little vibe. It was a nice and cool evening. Um, it was a fun hang, and then uh, the game started. And, <laughs> and then the game started. <laughs> and then the game started. Can, can I ask you? Yeah. Uh, do you? I mean, we all, we all watch the games, but do you sometimes go back and see these extended highlights that the team post? Uh, every once in a while, like if I feel like I need to remind myself or I miss something. Have um, you ever seen something in it and say, "Why was that in the highlight reel?" <laughs> all the time. See, okay, cool. <laughs> cool. It's not just us, guys. Perfect. You're like, there's oh, something's coming up. I was like, oh, what? Why? All right, fair enough. Like. I mean, there was a lot to be happy with, like, at this with this game. I thought Sacramento was playing this very, very, very uh, compact box. Mm-hmm. Um, at times, there were maybe like twenty yards from the front defenders to the back defenders, uh, but somehow Loyal managed to find space uh, and and create some havoc. I thought Guido looked pretty nice early on. Um, you know, there were. Like in this shot, pressing high, pushing forward, they were getting in the right spots. It was just there was like eight thousand, seemed to be like eight thousand people, and then when you put a really nice shot in, uh, their goalkeeper makes a really nice save. So it, it was one of those games where it was like you can't really be mad. There wasn't like glaring, like oh my gosh, this person is having a terrible game. It was actually a really nice, fun game to watch. Uh, Sacramento playing really well, Loyal kind of dominating possession, which uh, isn't super surprising. Um, you know, I do think you're still missing, you're missing Charlie Adams slash Joe Corona in this game a lot. And that, I think that's when you talk about not being able to finish that last pass, you know, a lot, uh, half the time it's come from Charlie this season. It seemed like Mm -hmm. that final pass, but I mean, there was nice moments. Um, Perez had a really nice game. Um, I thought the two strikers were dangerous at times. I thought Toomey was pretty good as he, Puts it way. Take, over but they're, the top. they're taking it's that the, shot. It's the right yeah. attempt, though, and, and it's yeah. taking the right shots. Uh, uh, we were noticing, and I don't know if you want to agree with uh, Tony and I or just myself. In this game, Guido had some instances where he should have passed instead of just trying to go for the shot. Couple, uh, yeah. a couple times where we're like, okay, you kind of went ball hog there. They, like their their options were there, and he just kind of wants to shoot. I, at the end of the day, you want a player that wants to shoot the ball and wants to get the goals in. 
but you want them to make the right decision yeah. in a split second, which is difficult. And I think there, I don't disagree with that. I also think that there are times where um, they were looking for like the perfect pass and the perfect shot. Yeah. Um, I think Collier is sometimes guilty of that. Like, just put it on frame, please. And mm. who knows what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's it, this is one of those, uh, we don't like the answer of, you know, the the process, the the play is sometimes more important than the results. Yeah. Um, you know, Koke comes up pretty big here. A nice center pass. Uh Elijah guy, uh, Elijah, the guy Elijah is marking kind of beats him to the the ball, but he puts enough on it, or Elijah puts enough on the 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 player to kind of affect his shot. Maybe he doesn't get as far to the side as he wanted to, but a really nice save from Koke. I thought he had a pretty decent game coming back from injury. Sacramento is just a really well oiled machine. Yeah, they really. are the best team in they, the league they know right where now? each player is going to be they know like they understand each other very well uh, and i mean talk about perfect passes right like this play was just executed honestly to perfection like this that pass one, uh, disgusting like filthy the iq to know if i pass this with my right it's going to get cut off because it's going to curve in the defender's going to get there if i let it sit on my left and then just do it one touch that's just genius yeah. And honestly, you can't really get mad. It's a long ball. Kyle Adams gets a little beat, but he kind of gets his thing, uh, it's his positioning good. back. But then that cut's good. The pass is good. This, this pass, pass is just genius, right honestly. I saw it live. And I was like, shit. Yeah. Like, that's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> like, just in real time, you're yeah. like, oh, that's so good. And, and then, I mean, honestly, it's a good goal that you expect the best team in the league to score on you. But it's the answer back, right? You don't. Yeah. You don't just... Give anything else back. Everything you is get lucky in a few plays, and yeah. we'll get to that. Those few plays that you're like, oh, okay, that <laughs> would have been bad. Like we, I, I call them those dioses del football, yeah. football gods, the football gods were on our side. Uh, but again, like just, I mean, you see this paper on like this game on paper on stat line, you're like, oh wow, Loyal was the better team out there. I think for a majority of the game, that's that's the case. Like it that. That play that went to, to led to Sacramento's goal, like every one of those passes is inch perfect. Like mm -hmm. every yeah, touch yeah. is the right touch. Every pass is the right pass. Uh, there was a few times where they were getting each other's way for, for loyal. I, I think they're still trying to figure out how they're playing. That was a really nice shot. Yeah, that was a good shot from you. They're too. really good looks. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you guys this though: that goal from Sacramento's revenge for that perfectly executed goal that loyal scored on them once. Loyal's best play. Of yeah, one of their best plays. Yeah. yeah. Like, one of the few games I didn't get to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, but, I mean, this is one of the ones at the end of the game where you're just like, I, you can't really – it wasn't like a defensive blunder like, the you know, s some of the things that we saw against San, uh, San Antonio mm -hmm. where it was just like poor defending. Um, well, because Elijah Martin was back in the starting lineup yeah. too. Q, oh, like, he had that, a great yes, game. Yes, great like, game. He's literally one of your best defenders. When he's not on that field, you can tell his absence. Whether he's at the center back position, left back, right back, you can tell like he's his presence is on that field. Okay, so I don't know how much to look into this. Charlie yeah. might come back tomorrow uh, uh, or <laughs> Wednesday. I, yeah. he might. But the amount of like predetermined set pieces that Guido and Tumi are doing yeah. leads me to believe that that's been having to go and training and having to yeah. practice that, yep. which is not good maybe in terms of Charlie's return date. Might It's like, hey, I need somebody here. I need somebody to fix this. I need somebody to, <laughs> to generate something. And they have these yeah, pitter-patter ones. A little bird told me that it might be a little bit longer yeah. than we thought. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I like how your sources are called little birds. Little birds. Oh, little birds. A little sources. Bird. Little birds. Uh, the next tweet is going to be like little birds. Little birds. Confirm. Little birds. <laughs> tweet, tweet. <laughs> tweet, tweet. <laughs> yeah, just so just uh, usually a game like this, I'm frustrated, but I really wasn't that frustrated this game. It was a really entertaining match. Um, and, and you really can't, right? I mean, again, no. it's, it's a team that you're like, we could very much lose this game, like 2 nothing, one nothing. And we probably should have lost this game, to be frank. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, 
You get a penalty, Alan. Was it a handball? So I had to watch this back a couple times. Um, I'm so the way he was calling the game, I would even say that the the header that Domus like on this header right here, that's a foul. Elbow up high, that's a foul. I, I thought that was I thought, I thought that was going to be the call, and then right. we see the handball, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it, this was this was a tough one. I watched this back like twelve thousand times. And he does lean with the arm out. Like, it, as the camera goes across, his arm is up. Yeah. yeah. It might have hit his side. But, I mean, he's diving in elbow first. Like, look at that. Elbow out. And yeah, so like, the... Like, silently, like, like, yeah. The exactly. ref is on the other side. And so all he sees is elbow up. Side to side. Elbows <laughs> up. Yep. To oh, side. Like, a cholo. like a cholo. You know what I'm talking about? <sighs> I, I'm aware of that song, but I will, <laughs> I will not participate in the singing of that song. Uh, but yes. Paletero Man is also a good song. It's so like he, that was elbow up toward that the head. That honestly could have been a foul. Correct. Yeah. The way he was calling the match, but his he leans with his his elbow first. And that's what I was, I was talking with uh, Shannon McMillan on the side. Oh. And that's what we were <laughs> talking about was he's leading with the elbow. And so like you, you kind of have to call that. Uh, I mean, I, I even with VAR with those angles that they were provided, you can't even see if it is or not. No. So even with VAR, I think the ref would have had to just say, "There's not enough evidence for me to overturn this that mm -hmm. it wasn't." So I'm gonna have to award it either way. Particularly so, with the quality of video. You exactly. Know I mean? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Damu shoots his penalty really well. Very good penalty. Yeah, and I've seen him uh, not do well on a penalty but then the goalkeeper was off his line and then he buries it and that's what how orange county beat o oakland um but yeah i was i was actually surprised that he didn't call a foul on the the header the way he has been the way he was calling those yeah those fouls throughout the game uh he was i don't say aggressive but he was not allowing the physical contact like that um but yeah, so his elbow's tucked, but then he goes and goes, I'm going to stick it out. Ba -doo -ba -doo. What I what I noticed Doo -ba -doo. Ronaldo also do is look at what he does as soon as everybody's arguing. Like, as soon as the penalty's called, there's a determination in him yeah. to just I'm going to score this. Yeah, like, gets called. Okay, penalty. Give me a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking this. Like, I'm, I'm taking yeah. this. Give yeah. me the ball. Yeah. Like, there's that confidence in him. Three goals in two games. We were asking, where are the goals at? Where is Ronaldo Damos? Where has he up. been? It's starting to pick up. He's picking it up, right? Yeah. Like, this is kind of what we what we were expecting. It took a little bit. He still hasn't found his footing. Yeah, no, he still hasn't. For sure. I, I really don't think so. Because the last game, it was a situational thing where, you know, you're down. Uh, you're playing against Sacramento, who's down a man. It's yeah. going to be really offensive. You're going to have a lot of offensive chances. You're going to be involved. Yeah. You have to capitalize on those he did, player of the week. For now is like being in the situations he just seems to be locked into a different gear now where now i think it's going to start to blossom bernaldo's uh play but i do think that for him to really fully reach his potential in san diego loyal he needs that help behind him and guido needs to get rid of the ball a little bit earlier feed him Still, a little more yeah. lead him in that's what he's good at into the space let him figure it out give him the ball he's gonna figure it out like don't try to do hero ball it's 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 just let it have it just just tap it in just, just tap give it. it in. No, it was uh, I mean, cool, calm, collected, shoots it, uh, reads the goalkeeper well. The goalkeeper kind of dives a little, kind of gives eh, you the heads up like, yeah. okay, I'm just gonna shoot it this way. But again, like like you're saying, Damu is finally getting that that goal scoring run that he needs maybe for his confidence, and especially when you're at a young age, you need the goals to make sure to just remind yourself, hey. I can do this. I am scoring the goals. Here right. I am. Uh, let's not forget, like, he was here. He's here to replace two one or two people. players that were your top two goal scorers last season. Yeah. yeah. So pressure's on whether you want to believe it or not for uh, Damo. Says, same thing for Evan Conway. But, again, you had the chances to win this game. Oh, this one. Uh, uh, Collier might want to look into the NFL. That, yeah, I mean, it's one of those where, like, there are so many ways to make that not look as bad as it did. Harry King yeah. said he'd be interested in being a kicker, by well, the way. Well, I have a competition about. with Elliot Collier. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, I'm not mad necessarily that he took that shot because 
sure. But I'm mad Guido took that shot. Yeah. Because it's split second decision, right? You you did the hard part, bro. You yeah. legitimately did the hard part. You the turn, take him up. Turn yeah. almost off the ball, through. kept the ball. But look at how many Sacramento guys are there. Like play that off to is that Perez? Yeah, Perez, who's a lefty. You lead him into the space, he takes a shot. Yeah. Because the center back here for Sacramento is already stepping up. He gives you all that space and then a churrito of a shot that, you know, again, it's it's just take that extra step. And it's take hard it in the split second decision, right? But at the end of the day, like we've seen Whoop. Guido be able to do Whoop. this. And Adrian Pettis just honestly like had a really good game. He's an X Factor right now. <laughs> he really is. Like he has that the ability to take on anyone, which is also what Nick Moon is able to do. Like they can yeah. just take on any player with ease and set something happen. Like I do think Adrian Perez has maybe starting to like earn a way into the spot, the starting spot. Yeah. But then when you rely on him on the defensive side, that's when you get in trouble. That's when you're like, oh, okay, like what a great touch that was. It and was. What a terrible shot that was. <laughs> and, and, and a lot of people, you see it, and I think Tony also told me he's like, oh man, he kicked that over. I was like, no, it went wide left. Yeah, wide left. Like that, and that, that's just an off balance shot, and it's just. And that's Cicerone. That's not like, that's not like, Joe Schmo. That's like one of their best offensive players, and he kicks it pretty wide. Like that hits that San Diego sign, the left yeah. of that San Diego sign. That's pretty far over. I saw that move from the other side. I was like, oh, here, that's the game. Hey, that's but the game. I mean, shooting off balance off a half turn like that yeah. sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. No. Yes, it's an open goal. He should bury this. You're a professional. You should bury this. But I'm just going to say, off balance, I mean, to be fair, you see him when you stop, Tony, and he doesn't look too off balanced. He really doesn't. <laughs> I think that But it touch, is an off balance yeah, shot. I think He's that touch backwards. puts the ball exactly. not where he wanted it to be. And But that turn, Jesus Christ, that turn was beautiful. It was yeah, a so great touch. So and, and this is where I say the football gods were in Loyal's favor. It's like saying, you know what? You need this tie against Sacramento here. Like, we'll give you the tie. You deserved it against the best in the USL. Honestly, I wouldn't have been mad had Stoneman fouled him. That's the thing. Like, that's why that turns so good is either Stoneman has to foul him and you get a penalty or mm -hmm. you're in one-on-one -on -one in the keeper. And what's wild is number nine is right there. Like, he had multiple options. It was two on none. And somehow, yeah. it. <laughs> in a way, Koke made this stop by... Coming forcing out and wide. forcing him wide. Yeah. Uh, he could have easily just frozen, tried to block a shot. Like, he's instinct came out. Uh, if you have for real on goal, I don't know if he comes out as well. Although he is very good at coming out and, like, he's just not as turning long. that angle. Exactly. So, I mean, good for San Diego Loya. Cook is also back on goal. Yeah. So, that's great. That's huge. Uh, and, again, it, it's it's at home, but it's a big point, right? Yes. Against Sacramento. Yeah, I mean, you you lose the tiebreaker against them, but I'm not sure Loyal's catching them anyway. Exactly. Yeah. No. Um, but to kind of get a point from Sacramento is is like a pretty decent shout. Like they're kind of fourth, fifth right now, depending on how Oakland is doing. Um, so it's not like we're the San Diego's setting the, the league on fire, but you're having a really tough stretch. And you get a point against the best team in your in your division or in your conference, like I, I think. I think if you say, "Hey, you were down a goal and you got a draw against Sacramento at home," I think people would be like, "All right with it." Um, mm -hmm. and, took, yeah, yeah, no, and and it's crazy, right? Because now you play on Wednesday, and I kind of want to say, so far into the season, besides the Sacramento game, because it's the first place. This game against San Antonio is their biggest game of the season so far. Yeah. I mean, for multiple reasons, right? Like, you can still hold on to uh, – you can still hold on to the tiebreaker against San Antonio. Um, you pass them in points. Pass them in points. Um, you know, you have a lot to prove in this game. I mean, there was a lot of vitriol on Twitter after this one. Yeah. So it's going to be – and I think the the it's not just the fans. I think the players also feel that it's, it's going to be a pretty – uh, intense game, mm -hmm. uh, very physical game. Um, but San Diego playing at home is going to be different than San, San Diego playing in San Antonio. Well, we've heard that Guido, particularly in that Oakland match, like part of the game plan was to poke at one or two different players that they knew foul a lot, get themselves into trouble, 
And that's a strategy that you do in soccer, right? Like sometimes you just have to be annoying and, 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 and let yourself get hit. Uh, will this potentially be a strategy that loyal does against San Antonio, knowing that San Antonio, the Traiganas, like they want it against them. Like they, they, there's a chip on the shoulder against San Diego loyal. Do you think they're going to try to poke the bear? Because I, I mean, don't let's think be that's realistic. Tanny's not going to get another red card in this game. No, like I mean, right. he, he, it, it's hard when a striker gets a red card. Uh, but I, I think for that game, San Diego was very lucky he got a red card. Yeah. Because he was just dominant. Like, I mean, he yeah. probably would have scored another one or two more on Loyal had he stayed on the whole match. I mean, that's a dangerous game to play. Like, I think if you can keep your cool, you might be able to, like, goad them into stuff. But San Antonio is a smart team, right? This isn't, like, a a team that's, like, San, San Diego was last year. I don't think that you're going to get them to overreact. I mean, you can certainly try. Um, but I, I think that they're going to come in ready to do some business, right? You went to their house, forced to draw. It was pretty, pretty chippy. So they're going to come in and, and, and play pretty physical, but their message is probably, hey, take it to the line and then don't cross that line uh, because San Diego has a history of blowing up from time to time. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's <laughs> – Maybe that's their game plan as well: is is play physical, but don't cross the line. Make uh, make San Diego frustrated at home. Uh, they're gonna maybe there's a couple bad calls which happen every single game. Every single game, and so maybe that's how you push them off. Um, but this is gonna be a really tough tough turnaround for uh, San Diego. They're already a little bit uh, unhealthy. Mm-hmm. They have some injuries. So it's not like you're gonna rotate a ton of guys. Um, maybe Joe Corona comes back. I don't know. I didn't see him. Well, I saw him. They were all street closed up, uh, mm. but I didn't get a chance to chat with him uh, to see how he's feeling about this one. But this is going to be a tough match. Um, San Antonio is no joke. And, you know, a draw on this one isn't necessarily a bad thing because um, if you can hold serve, I guess, against some of the top teams in your division and, and win some of the teams toward the bottom, you're going to be fine, right? Because it's about getting to the playoffs. Uh, but I, I would like to see them put in put in a shift and, and get something out of this for sure. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it uh, a couple episodes ago, right? Where yeah. if San Diego manages to stay in the top eight by the end of the next away stretch, which is pretty <laughs> yeah. much the whole month of June, yeah, uh, they're in pretty good oh, – no, actually, July, right? Month of July – on the away street, uh, you're gonna play Pittsburgh, best team in the yeah, East. Yeah, they're they're playing really well right now. Yeah, and then you're gonna play in the eleven, which again, it's not the easiest game, and it's a revenge game for Jack Blake. <laughs> yeah, they're they're doing all right. Uh, they pick up Seb- uh, Sebastian Velasquez, uh, reunited with his coach. Oh uh, boy, yeah. And so uh, he's gonna be kind of embedded in by the time San Diego faces him. So. Mm-hmm. Um, Indy 11's not a terrible team. They're not a great team, but they're not. They're going to be a tough team to play. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it doesn't get easier, and I'm not sure it gets easier for the rest of the season, right? Outside yeah. Hartford, of, that could be the easy one, but um, it, it feels like it's the trap game. game. Right. It's, it's the game. trap game, right? You got uh, loud. You got Loudon, who's kind of struggling. Vegas is going to be you okay. Got this guy's yeah, uh, Carlton Square, uh, Dor- Dortmund. Uh, oh, July twenty yeah. seventh. Uh, that should be an easy, 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 dub. Dub. easy, e, not just easy. E and the letter Z. Damn, easy dub. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I want to go. I want to see Edson Alvarez in Dortmund. I'm pretty sure credentials work. By the way, I bought a ticket anyway. Oh, the oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, I you? talked to Weston. Was like, we don't get in. We had to buy tickets. Oh, so <laughs> the credentials might not work. You better you better hit up somebody about that. Um, we better get credentials. I mean, uh, I picked up one of the sport tickets. They're actually relatively inexpensive, and there are there are tickets left, and they are awesome. like decently priced. They're okay priced. Um, I told myself I never pay to go see Loyal again. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I bought a ticket just in case. Worst sure. case scenario is you know I give it away or sell it to somebody. July twenty seventh is that a weekend? It is a Thursday. Thursday. It's a Thursday, gotcha. which is why the I think the Colorado Springs game was supposed yeah, to be Saturday. To my sister's Sunday, birthday, yeah. July thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Thursday. I will be driving back from LA that day. 
uh, black yellow schwarz schwarz is it, but i don't think it's yellow i think it's schwarz gold or something like that ah uh, do you think a lot like of fans will black, make a trip black gold black and gold will we see the yellow brick wall at snapdragon <laughs> that'd be crazy imagine a bunch of them just make the trip <laughs> i don't know what that state will it sell out i, I don't think so i don't so. think so i don't I, man you rexham yes and not just because of man you of Wrexham too. Ugh. The storyline that they've put up, yes. Yeah. Uh, this but one, might as well be I can see a lot AFC of Richmond like, fan. I can see a lot of people just saying, "Hey, like Dortmund, yeah, let's go check them out." Like that's a big club. It's a Thursday. It is a Thursday as well. Bro, they had Felipe Santana, FIFA 14 legend, be the ambassador for this with Landon Donovan. Like, really, can not find anybody else? Well, I mean, the problem is like this is preseason. You're probably not going to see tons of people you want to see. I think that's the problem I have with some of these like summer tours. It's like, cool. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see Man U's like backup, backup, backup keeper. Like, it's, de- they're gonna play De Gea because he's probably gonna be like the fourth goalkeeper next year. I mean, I I like that San Diego Loyal's debut at the Snapdragon. It's against Borussia Dortmund. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're gonna get a big crowd because yeah. of Dortmund as well. So it's good. If it was th- if this was Loyal against Albion. I mean, the support section maybe fills up. <laughs> That's very hopeful. Um, but yeah, so, I mean... It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I, like I agree. In season for San Diego. Uh, but you got to get that exposure. You got you, you have to. I mean, the fact that you were able to set this game up against uh, Dortmund, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a big thing for San Diego Loyal. This is probably one of the biggest games in their history. I don't see the MLS team playing any, uh, any uh, European... They're not. Teams right now, yeah, so yeah, hundred percent. No, that's that's <laughs> fair. A hundred percent fair. Like you got to do everything you can to yeah. make a name for yourself at this time, at this point, if you're San Diego loyal, and it's stuff like this that they got to do. They got to put their name out there. San Diego MLS versus Dortmund. I think I'd be equally as impressed. Like, oh wow, they got yeah, this. This, yeah. this MLS team got Dortmund. All right. Yeah, and there. I mean, there's gonna be some Dortmund fans who use this as an excuse to come to San Diego for a vacation. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I can I can see it happening. I mean, it it should already be hotter. It should be a great summer night by July twenty seven. None of this misty, rainy <laughs> weather we're having right now. June I don't blue, hate it. But I don't hate it. <laughs> it's all right. I'm over it. Um, it, sh- it shouldn't it shouldn't be wet outside anymore. San Diego loyal tie in a thrill in a thrilling uh, five to two loss. They somehow tie. Wow, cause... they scored twice. Yeah, dude. Joe Corona, banger, oh, free no, kick. On goals. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get to see Matt Hummels. Gio Reyna. In street clothes, yeah, 100%. Gio. No, they play, if bro. They him, play these games. They, Gio Reyna. They suit up for If he's not hurt. Time. Speaking Gio of. Gio Reyna, watch out. I mean, parents might try to start some shit. You never know. Yeah, speaking, speaking about of the friendly. Kennedys of the uh, U.S. men's national team, the Reynas. Um I mean, the U.S. men's national team, any thoughts before we all collectively sorrow about Manchester City's col- uh, win and treble? I just, <sighs> it's just whatever. But the U.S. Uh, yes. in this meaningless tournament yes. of friendlies gets given a fake t- trophy, even though all the trophies are fake trophies in a sense. Um, right? Oh, uh, the... The Nations League. Yeah. I mean... You, you following the U.S. right now? You guys don't have a coach? Yes, it does. You guys apply to you? Uh, it's like an interim, interim coach. They got rid of one and yeah. brought in another. Uh, yeah, the, like the the drama around hiring a coach is wild. Um, Triple G might be heading to Europe. I don't know. It's wild out there. Um, I mean, I pay it kind of pay attention to the men's national team. I watched some of the youth national team uh, until they took on uh, was it Argentina, Argentina, and lost in the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, they won the what the the we play nice award, which is fine. <laughs> uh, the we don't white people don't get as many yellow cards as black people do trophy. Um, yes, that's yeah. That's what it goes down to. <laughs> um, I mean it's fine. Like I I think for these nation league teams, it's it's not like the biggest names, right? You don't have all of the starters. You have some starters. It's gonna be fine. It's a reason for people to spend money, I guess. Wasn't and boy will they. <laughs> boy the U- will the they. US won the last Nation League final, right? Against Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's and, when Pulisic got, got all like and you guys celebrate and the uh, you guys celebrated like that like, like, Oh, this was that the I'm the up. man in the mirror one? Yes. I think so, yeah. 
Yeah. I thought it was pretty clever. Sure. I mean, when's the, when's the last time Mexico beat the men's national team? Thursday. It'll be the first time in, in a while. So. In like like three or four years or something crazy like that. Yeah, hey, there were some strong ties in there. <laughs> Very <laughs> strong ties. I mean. That felt like wins. I, I <laughs> We were out Look, of Look, we gave the team a talk. All right, I snapped this there? weekend. I, yeah, we, yeah, I talked. Did you use the really low voice guy? <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Como estas? That's him. That's all his words. No, Buena I mean, Jamia. Yeah. I think anytime that those two teams play each other, like it's going to be an interesting game. People are going to try game. harder. I mean, Panama versus Canada probably not the the highest selling ticket here in the United States. You leave um, Jonathan David and Alfonso Davis alone. Because they're great players. Panama. Um, Canada's going to win that. I mean, Canada's coming up. So Canada's I'm, uh, the best team in the CONCACAF right now, technically speaking. I mean, not on, not wrong. Not on a World Cup uh, performance this past World Cup. But You know what? True. They got a little shy. They got a little nervous. It's <laughs> the first World Cup in a long time. Uh, uh, not like the U.S. did any better. I mean, they did, but not very much better. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean... CONCACAF Nations League finals, whatever. It's yeah. I, I'm more excited about the Gold Cup coming up. I think that's going to be an me interesting too. tournament. Yeah, me too, I guess. That one actually matters. It does. No, it used to. It, it still used matters. to matter. Like, I mean, th- there's no more freaking uh, Confederations Cup, and that's what the Gold Cup decided. Like, whoever won the two years of the Gold Cup gets to go to Confederations Cup. If you win one, not the other, then you play against each other. Uh, now it's used for rankings, and the FIFA rankings are a freaking joke, anyways. Copa Oro. We're gonna make you watch this. Is this the last time Mexico beat the United States? It's just the last time I saw Mexico in person beat the U.S. Yes. Golazo. Hugo Sanchez is saying golazo. Yeah, that's a pretty goal. Yeah, man. That's I saw this goal. live. I was literally on the corner flag, like. That, right, like the line right here, the goal. It just saw the player right jump. where Chicharito was fighting. So, the thing that I do think the Mexican national team does consistently better than the U.S. is definitely their kits. Their kits are always like this kit was awesome. They're I- like this, there's yeah. so many iconic like the men. The United States has like the the Waldo stripes or whatever, and that's like the one that everyone wants. But there have been so many bangers for the Mexican national team that. I mean, like, when you produce more money, you get better kits. Is that what it is? Uh, not, it's all comes But I mean, the 96 one's great. The 94 one's awesome. 99 was a great one. Uh, the 2019 one was super nice. This most recent one, not the pan, not the koala bear one. That was yeah, all right. I didn't like that. Uh, I didn't like that either. I like that they went pink. Like, I like that they that went That should like have been a, a third kit. That's fair. Um, there are some in there that are kind I of mean, not, the, not the best. I mean, national teams hardly ever have third kits. Do you guys like the Power Ranger one? 20, uh, 2013? The Rey Mysterio one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I liked it. It was cool. It yeah, was, Mexico it, it, always it was has different. Uh, my, the, this one is the one where we got... This was the one that Osvaldo got scored on. 2006. 2006. Maxi Rodriguez. He met his idol. Um, I, I, met, I met the dude. I met right, my, right. my dude. Like, he panicked. He fanboyed. And he choked and didn't say a single word to him. Uh-huh. And I had to step up. And go, hey Osvaldo, mucho gusto. It's like I had to do that. He's Tony, mute. He's Osvaldo, mute. Osvaldo, Tony. Yeah. Son portero los dos. But I mean, U.S. has like a Jean one. Like oh, serious? the Alexis Lala's one. Uh, oh, I dude. hate that guy. I like every time I, I watch Fox, guy. I remember I'm like, no, I need to put on two de n. Hell yeah. watch in Espanol. I mean, two de like, n is better than that. But if, if you want to watch something, watch Azteca. I'm not sure I get Azteca. I you might. need the antenna. Oh, then I don't. Satellite antenna. For um, oh, but I, I, do, I do watch in Spanish more often than I watch in English. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, honestly, you listen to our Twitter spaces over uh, it's true. USL commentary, so I appreciate that. Yeah, like, look at those. Like, some of them are, right? <laughs> like, 2012, <laughs> 2017 Gold Cup. Oh, 1998, 99 away. You guys were going for a Norway type of look. <laughs> You're that's like, hey dad, can I borrow your polo shirt because I have to wear something nice because I got I just got a I just got a job. Uh, like I'll give. I like how one. I like how the 
Uh, June 1696 versus Mexico. <laughs> Just one, that one shirt. That's it. That's all we needed. That's probably the most expensive and rare shirt they have. Yeah, the 2012 one. I, I mean, that's the thing too. Like, you know which one I liked? Uh, the popsicle. I'll give him that one. The, the popsicle. The, the, where is uh, it? Uh, uh, that's the Clint. That was for one. a World Cup. That one, one, I like that yeah. popsicle one. Yeah. 2014. That one looks nice. I, I, I. That's the only one that I'm like, oh, it's a cool jersey. But like, the home, the home one's kind of lame. 2012, 2013. That uh, was a good year for U.S. Kids. Franca. You know who fix who just pops into my mind with that one? Uh, Demarcus Beasley. Demarcus Beasley. All right. Beasley, yeah. All right. Puebla legend. Uh, obviously, with the Waldo, the 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 Waldo's iconic, I guess. Uh, yeah. Landon one. That's the thing. It's like they've they've changed. Like, oh, we're gonna go do a sash. Now we're gonna do bars. Now we're gonna do. It's like, just I would just. But to be fair, Nike does very, very poor kits. Yeah, I like, do like the, suck. the 2017 away Gold Cup one. Oh, I, that was fine. I yeah. do with enjoy the, that with one the stars because it's like not out. white. I mean, it's makes me look chubby because it's you know horizontal, horizontal stripes. Lines. Yeah, you so wouldn't get it anymore, Chiba. Um, yeah, they're just kind of like <laughs> meh. They're always meh. Even the, I mean, the polka dot one from this year is is a little bit cute, but they're just always disappointing. And then it, inevitably, Wave is just going to wear those same kits next year. Let's go, Wave. Uh, shout out to San Diego Wave, who tied and got another clean sheet on the road. Yeah. Uh, they play this Saturday at 1 p.m. against uh, Crosstown Rivals. Oh, L.A. L.A. Cross. Cross. Cross County. Cross County. Cross, count, cross, count, county. Uh, cross cities. Cross state. Interstate. Rivals. Neighbor cities. Intrastate. In- intrastate. Because it's an interstate. They play L.A., beat L.A. Uh, we won't be able to make it. Because we have semifinals for UPSL, SoCal South, Ooh. top twenty team in the nation, San Diego Internacional. In the UPSL, a dude scored twenty four goals. In he needed to ten games, nine games. In ten, yeah, but like he needed like three to beat the next guy in the nation. Yeah, and the coach just let him out there. He scored what seven. N- Seven or eight I goals. Think he scored in the game. seven or eight. Jesus, was the, the other team not? They won with 60 the nothing. <laughs> they won 60. They won 60 nothing, Alan. <laughs> it was the worst game. Yeah, no, I've yeah, ever yeah. Seen. We were tired of saying uh, another one. We <laughs> pull our DJ Khaled out and we're like, another <sighs> one. Another oh, one. Man. Even DJ Khaled's like, okay, this is enough. That's enough. That's enough. It's too many. We do not need it. Yeah, 16 goals. That's wild. If I they mean, make the, the final kid. and it's a home, you should come out. Yeah. I'll let you know. Go to the semifinal. You can be not going to go to the wave game. When is it? Sunday? Sunday at Saturday at 3 p.m. Saturday, Saturday at 3, 3 p.m. Maybe we'll Mission see. Bay High School. Maybe we'll see. I might go be out sure. there and support Mission Bay High School. <laughs> if you're not soccer? going to the Wave game, Local if you're soccer? not going to go, go to Mission Bay High School at 3 p.m. Watch some. Mark, mark my words. Watch Mark, and you're going to be like, this guy is legit. He's good. All right. 24 goals in a season. Yeah, if you're going to passively, games, aggressively tweet, support local soccer, and shut the fuck up and just go. Mission Bay High School, 3 p.m. Saturday. I, if they charge, it's five bucks a ticket. I'll pay. I'll if pay. If you, mention, if you mention two balls and a mic, you It'll don't have to three. pay. I can convince people to do that. Or $2, $3, something. Okay. Support Just the team. Of, yeah. They got to pay the lights for the training. The you know? really Mission Bay High School is not cheap. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. All right. Some good soccer still going on because Europe, Europe's over and the. Uh, the, they finally the got mon- it. The they... oil money finally won. So. Yeah, I mean, two billion euros after. I mean, good for them. It was fine. I watched most of the game. It was, it was a final. They're never as entertaining as like yeah. the lead up to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, Inter Lukaku tried. Just sucks. Oh, that was so sad. I was so sad. Lukaku I was as sad terrible. as Tony looks like crying into a Chivas Chivas yeah, kit. Tough. I mean, it was. I mean, it was fine. I mean, I guess. I did see Jack Relish celebrating, and I was like, I think that looks like Jamie Tart. So yeah. honestly, respect to yeah, the guys. Still six a.m. Still full kit celebrating. Like, dude was pissed drunk. I, I did like all the conversations with Thierry Henry after just giving Holland tips on how to improve like we need that to freaking happen. we don't need that he didn't score in the game so clearly he needs, he needs to, to better. get better yeah the machine needs more input more data <laughs> that's freaking crazy imagine he like legit like just improves which he will uh yeah no i mean man city props uh i sorry it's my team's fault they won the treble my team gave up the fa cup and well between manchester united and arsenal i mean 
They just, just gifted <sighs> yeah. Man, City Man City. You're welcome, Man City fans. Treble. Our shitty teams gave you guys the treble. It's Don't not blame because Chelsea. you guys are good. It's not because you guys are good. No, we can't blame a team that ended 12th in the table. You can't blame a team that stopped Man City from winning the Champions League last time they were in it. True. Sorry. That is not an incorrect statement. It's not Absolutely. incorrect. It's not incorrect. Absolutely. We can't Absolutely. thank Liverpool for anything this season either. But You can thank them for me sleeping in from some Saturdays, realizing that <laughs> I don't realize it was over. It. <laughs> it's like, nope. Oh, man. Like that South last game of the season, that Southampton game, I was like, no. This is gonna, and <laughs> yeah. there was a draw. And I was like, that's why I'm not gonna watch yeah. it because I'm just gonna be pissed the whole time. They need a win. You don't like. So your uh, comment says, I hear a three player signing with Dortmund. Yeah, uh, Edson Alvarez, not Santi. Santi Jimenez might go to Real Madrid. Ooh. Um, which would be cool. Santi Jimenez is a beast. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That was our version of respecting City. So you either take it or you sh- leave. It. He said thank you. It was difficult. It was. I'm happy for people that are that feel happy. Like I'm happy yeah. for people who have been there. I don't know what your story is with liking uh, a Manchester City. Like everybody has their own way of getting there. Like maybe they wanted to root for Manchester United. They just like picked the wrong one and they just kind of stuck with it. Wasn't that Robinho? Robinho literally when he signed for Man City, he said, "I didn't know there was two Manchester teams." <laughs> he legit thought he was going to Manchester United. That's funny. Like <laughs> the video, of the Robinho's disappointing career. That was terrible. That's messed up. It's not a disappointing career. Like, he had a good one. Yeah, like he, you know, played for Real Madrid. It was great. It or was Bernardo it? and Aguero. 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 Isn't it crazy that Aguero retires and Argentina, Argentina win the World Cup, and Man City win the treble? <sighs> but he's tearing it up in the Kings League. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's a seven it's on seven, seven on European seven. league. Like really? Amateur semi pros. Casillas is in it. So it's like they own teams. lower than yeah. MASL. It's it's the equivalent of that MASL that we watched. You didn't even talk about the MASL, not MASL. It was the, the TST. The, the TST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that was dope. I heard it, it was, was really yeah. cool. I heard it, it was, was really dope. cool. San Diego Soccer's own Boris Pardo. Yeah. Uh, the team that ended up winning had um, Tavoy Morgan. Yeah, nice. Nice. A million dollars. I saw Chris Toth getting some shout outs too, and I was like, I used to like him, and then he signed for Ontario, and now I hate him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Robin, I didn't know about Man, Man City. I will not allow, I will, I refuse. Yeah, no, it's okay. No I, I, read the, right. I read the headline. That's all right. I refuse. <laughs> that's how you, that's incog- how you actually, incognito. you go incognito if you ever need to go to the Union Tribune or whatever, and then, yeah, they'll, uh, yeah. support your local journalism, folks. By not subscribing. Yeah, no, the <laughs> Athletic lost me today, so that's, uh, womp, they, womp. they, they, he went corporate. Oh man. Um, all right. But yeah. yeah. Anything else? I, boys? I think that pretty much everything. Yeah. Congrats, City. Yeah. Uh, if we owe you a scarf or a hat, let us know if you're gonna be at the game on Wednesday, Wednesday. so we can take the scarves. Alicia, you said you'll be there Wednesday. We'll take your scarf. And if we owe you the hat, let us know you're 50 50. You're gonna be there on Wednesday. If not, we're gonna have to both drop it off to you. 100%. Uh, shout out to everybody who was in the chat. Shout out to you making it all the way down here uh, to the South Bay. Uh, Esteban was gonna be at the 7 on 7 tournament. Esteban, I'm gonna hit you up because he works on the 19th. We were gonna plan a video and he can't. Yeah, I work on Juneteenth. So. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, that's a federal holiday. Yeah, it's I disrespectful it that you're working on that day. Yeah, I know it is. That's right. If you really cared, you'd call out <laughs> if if you were really can't call about out. it i can't call out this next six weeks all right. all right thank you guys for watching appreciate every single one of you bye